few messages from our presentation this morning really related to the contemporary threats uh, facing those responsible for protecting the biggest events internationally. So threats ranging from terrorism to cyber security threats, fan violence, all the way through to geopolitical issues need to be a concern for those responsible for planning, policing and security for the world's biggest sporting events. We also touched on uh, the key challenges and uh, really opportunities and trends related to major event policing and security. So from a challenges perspective, we spoke about uh, the importance to ensure cost-effective security delivery. That, that is often a disincentive for countries and cities to host these major events. So being able to share information about what is proportionate security for a major event amongst uh, the range of stakeholders involved is actually absolutely crucial. We also spoke about the need to ensure that these events remain sporting events and not security events. Security is not the driver, it really supports the effort uh, from, a, from a, 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 an event experience perspective and to ensure that everyone involved in these big events from athletes through to the spectators at the venue and at home have a safe and secure and, and pleasant experience when they're involved in the event. At Project Stadia, we, we are uh, building a centre of excellence related to major event policing and security. Uh, it's a 10-year project in partnership with Qatar. We're at about the halfway point, we run till 2022, and we have two main objectives. The first one being uh, supporting Qatar in their preparations for the World Cup in 20, Football World Cup in 2022, while also supporting all other Interpol member countries, 192 Interpol member countries involved in delivering policing and security for the world's biggest events. So uh, we have a range of activities from expert groups to training activities uh, to partnerships and uh, strategic relationships that we have developed to gather good practices, knowledge and experience and share that with the Interpol network and particularly Qatar as they prepare for the World Cup in 2022. We're sharing all that information through our online stadium knowledge management system which we actually launched two weeks ago uh, at our conference in, in Doha and that will be the online platform, secure platform for the world's law enforcement community and other stakeholders involved in delivering major event policing and security to tap into the, the good practices that we are gathering as Project Stadia but also to tap into a, a, an international network of expertise related to major event policing and security.